So somehow, some way, we are once again into a brand new year. And would you believe it, a brand new decade as well. And I don't know about you, but last year seemed to race by at a rate of knots. But as is tradition on this channel, we're kicking off 2020 with not just five, not 10, but 20 Android applications that I think are definitely worth checking out at some point throughout the year of 2020. So let's wrap the intro and get straight into the applications. We're starting things off with Memoriji, a to-do list, tasks, and reminders application that will help make 2020 a super productive year of getting things done. For me, the best part about this app, apart from its core functionality, is its design. It's super eye-catching and makes setting and customizing tasks and reminders ridiculously easy and just a downright visually pleasing experience. You can sync reminders across different devices and you can even share tasks with collaborators if you have the premium version. Plus there's also customizable snooze durations and it's honestly just a seriously well thought out application. Somehow I found myself on a bit of a mission to find the best video editor application on the Google Play Store. And whilst there were some serious contenders from last year's list of apps, I found another top contender in VivaCut. Now you obviously have all of your basic video editing functionality, which the app handles like a boss, but then there's a wide range of advanced features that make this app a pretty viable option to complete high level editing with. You have chroma keying, keyframing, masking, markers, speed control, plus a heap more. And in all honesty, as long as your phone has the guts to do it, this app is super powerful and could be used to create pretty much anything you throw at it. Even though playing localized music on our phones is becoming more and more of a rarity with the popularity of streaming platforms lately, I still find myself needing to from time to time. And Elon Music Player is a beautifully designed app that is my new go-to option. Now, whilst most of the Music Player apps found on the Play Store do a fairly decent job of playing audio files stored on your phone, it's actually a very mixed bag in terms of design, but Eon is definitely one of the best. It's got a clean UI with a heap of extra features and options for customization as well. If you're in the market for a clean, lightweight and informative weather app, then Weather by Falcon is a fairly new weather app still in beta that you may just want to consider trying out. The app is pretty much a what you see is what you get in that most of the information available within the app is on this one page. But as you can see, it's got a super neat design that makes viewing a dense amount of information a fairly seamless experience. I'm always on the lookout for apps that help improve the functionality of using my phone and Tile Shortcuts is certainly an app that fits the bill beautifully. So using this app lets you create custom shortcuts that can then be placed into your quick settings menu. We've seen apps that have a similar functionality in the past, but with Tile Shortcuts, not only can you launch into any app, shortcut, intent, or URL via a tile, but you can also customize the look of the tiles using the icon designer within the app. Pretty neat stuff. I'm not too sure why most Android phones don't natively ship with a Find My Phone option pre-installed. And so for those who haven't yet considered it, installing Google's own Find My Device application may just save you in the future. The app is actually only half of the equation, but you do need to install it to grant location permissions. But then from there, you're able to use your web browser or any other device to locate your phone in the event that it goes missing. You can even ring your phone, even if it's set to silent, which might help you locate it, or you can secure it and even completely erase it if you think you no longer have access to your phone. So it's definitely a worthwhile app to have installed. If you're looking to get inspired this year, then Deep Stash is an application filled with thoughtful articles, ideas, life hacks, and productivity tips that will fuel your curiosity in an efficient, time-saving way. Everything about Deep Stash has been designed to help up your productivity in that it curates content from top publications and magazines around the web, and it presents them in a summarized view, meaning you really only need five or so minutes a day to catch up on all the news that you're interested in. It's got a really nice design and no ads whatsoever, so definitely worth a try. Sharing files can sometimes be a bit of a hassle, particularly when dealing with large file sizes. So a super simple solution is Envelope. Once you've created a free account, the app has an outrageously simple design. You simply tap the upload button and then select the file that you're looking to share. From there, you can share the link to whoever necessary, and that's just about it. But what's great is that at least for the time being, because the app runs on block stack, there is actually no file size limit, which is pretty crazy and makes this app a phenomenal option for file sharing. If you're a Twitter enthusiast and you're looking for a cleaner, more customizable experience, then you may just want to check out one of the best clients available on the Play Store, Owly. Apart from letting you browse your Twitter feed in a clean and unobtrusive way, the app is super customizable, which means that you can make the experience really suit your needs to a T. 
You can dial in your tweet digest so you can stay up to date with the news that you're interested in. You can manage the tweets on your timeline so that you're only seeing what you wanna see. And the look and feel of the app is super customizable as well with plenty of options to really make things look the way you want them to. It's been a long time since an icon pack has captured my attention enough to make me want to showcase it in a Top Apps video, but I recently stumbled upon the Limeline icon pack and it's far too good not to feature in this video. So the Limeline icon pack is actually part of a bigger family of similar icons, all of which use this same line style design. But this one in particular uses this yellow and white color theme, which for mine is the best of the lot. These icons can make even the dullest setup look impressive. And what's great is that the app has support for over 4,000 icons with masking options for unthemed icons available as well. So definitely want to try out on your own device. Now, most of us don't always have clean access to our Wi-Fi routers or even just to network reception. And so an incredibly useful application to help find the best locations for both is the aptly named Wi-Fi AR. As the name suggests, this app lets you analyze your connections in real time using augmented reality. You basically hold your phone in front of you and walk around the location you're trying to analyze. And then the app will visually show you in real time how strong the signal is in the space around you. Staying in the theme of augmented reality for a minute, and Display Land is a super unique photography application that takes capturing photos to a whole nother level. This app lets you 3D scan pretty much anything, objects, rooms, or even people, and the results can be pretty fascinating, albeit somewhat funky looking as well. The process of circling around your subject to complete the 3D scan can take a little while, but it's a seriously cool concept that brings out a new level of creativity when it comes to photography. If you're looking for a lighthearted application that might just bring back some fond memories from the past, then Walkie Talkie is a fun and surprisingly well executed application that you might wanna check out. In a neatly designed interface, the app lets you dial in a radio frequency that when matched on a second device, will allow the two to communicate. It works pretty much flawlessly and even with iOS devices as well. So if you're looking for a fun activity to enjoy with friends or family, then this app is worth a shout. Cinemagraphs or live photos as they're otherwise known as can be a really effective technique if you're wanting to make your still images more dynamic. And V-Image is an app that makes creating these live photos super quick and easy. There's two ways to go about adding movement to your images using V-Image. The first is to select from their massive range of animated elements, which you can then add onto your image and resize to fit. And then the second option is to select and mask portions of your image that will then be digitally animated on a loop, giving the illusion of movement. If you're intentional about the images that you use and creative in your approach, then you can end up with some really cool results. Just keep in mind that the app does place watermarks on your exports unless you upgrade to the premium version. There are heaps of different third-party home screen launches available these days that are all about getting rid of clutter, but perhaps none do so in as visually impressive a way as Seri Launcher. This launcher has a very smartwatch home screen look and feel to it, which I think is kind of half the fun. You can choose to have all of your apps visible on the home screen or just your favorites, and then a swipe down will open up a search to make it really quick to locate any given app. It's certainly an acquired taste and some won't like the look of it at all, but it's pretty customizable and definitely worth giving a shot if you've been looking for a fresh home screen experience. Google just recently released a new feature to Pixel phones that allow them to vibrate first before then ramping up the volume for incoming calls. But for those who don't own a Pixel phone, you can actually get this exact same feature with even more customization thrown in by using Ringmaster. The app does basically the exact same thing as Google's supposed exclusive feature for Pixel devices, but what's even better is how customizable it is. You can set custom vibration patterns and set how quiet or loud the ringer volume is allowed to get to. And you can even use the app with third-party calling applications such as WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. So definitely a handy app worth trying out. I always find myself spending way too long trying to figure out what to cook each week. And so an app I'm planning on utilizing more this year to help in this regard is Side Chef. The app features a dense list of over 15,000 cooking recipes that range in cuisine type and difficulty level. And you can either search through the recipes using keywords of meal types or ingredients, or you can work your way through the various categories, all of which are really descriptive and accurate, making it easy to find recipes when you're short on time. There's a standard recipe view for the traditionalists out there. There's also a step-by-step -step mode, which pretty much turns your phone into a Google Nest hub. So it's a lot of fun and definitely worth a go. Moving into education for a moment, Microsoft Math Solver is a super powerful app that's been designed to help in developing math knowledge and ability. 
You can either draw your equations using your phone screen or type them in as well, but even better yet is that you can take photos of your handwritten work and with any of the above options, the phone will instantly go to work in solving the equations you throw at it. The app will also present you with related content, whether that be articles or videos, so it's a super useful app, particularly for those needing to focus and study at some point throughout the year. It's no secret that what the sky looks like in any given photo could often make or break how good an image looks. And so an application that aims to remove that variable by letting you easily edit the sky is Picnic. Now I've tried using this app for a wide range of photos and whilst it doesn't always work for every single photo that I've taken, it does work on a surprisingly large selection of photos. And when it does work, it's borderline flawless in its execution. You can transform an overcast day into a bright day or day images into night images. There's a heap of options and it's a seriously fun app to experiment with to see how it can change up the look of any given photo. And finally, if you're looking for a fresh wallpaper application to add into your customization arsenal for 2020, then you may just want to check out CRISPR. As with a lot of wallpaper applications these days, CRISPR does serve as an effective unsplashed client, but it doesn't just stop there. It also gives you a pretty massive range of really nice looking illustrated backdrops to choose from. And it also lets you edit each of the wallpapers within the app so that you can ensure that they work in any given setup. Beyond that, it's got a really nice design with a minimal UI, which is always very much appreciated, but it would be nice to see them add in an option to favorite wallpapers within the app at some point in the future. But that's it. Now, as always, each and every application has been included down in the notes below. So don't forget to check them out. And if you enjoy watching these app style videos, I start every month throughout the year with a brand new episode of the top Android apps. So if that sounds like something that tickles your fancy, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so that you're notified each time a new episode is released. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.